Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people. That's W-O-R-I-M-I. And welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. For those that are interested in the journey that has brought me to this place and, a, and an in-depth discussion about my two guides, Master and Narin, who are here at all times with me, uh, pop journey in where you see the little magnifying glass, the search option. Uh, there'll be two videos there about my spiritual journey. The extra bits is the second one. So uh, pop on over there if you're interested um, because I've had a few people asking about my guides. Uh, really excited today. I am booked in to see my own local soothsayer. That's Judy from judysweeney.com.au. We are friends outside of the tarot reading and spirituality, but um, I can't read on myself. Every six months or so, I like to book myself in for an appointment and then she pencils the afternoon out. So really looking forward to having a catch up and I do have for her an Enlightened Beings mug from Cash, from Cash Peters as a present for her because she is such an enlightened being and such a powerful person in my journey as well. Okay, um, Libya. Oh my goodness. Um, as I was, um, reading the news on Libya this morning, I had 20,000 flash up in my mind. We are, they are, we are a long way from, uh, the end of this crisis. My heart absolutely goes out for them and I just have no words for the strength of energy that we need to send to the people of Libya. Uh, and also Morocco, uh, as they go through uh, this path that they are going through at the moment. On to other news, uh, Judge McAfee in Georgia has announced that Powell and Chesbro, the court case, will be uh, going ahead next month. Uh, but he has split off the other 18 criminal defendants. Um, because in his words, there is no court big enough in Georgia to hold them all. So we'll see how that plays out. I can't remember what my reading on that was. I think I did say Mick, uh, Powell and Chesbro would go early uh, and wouldn't be delayed, but I can't remember what I said about the rest of them, so feel free to enlighten me. Okay, um, what I'm going to have a look at this morning is um, news has come out today that uh, Hunter Biden has been charged with firearm charges. Fair enough. Uh, I think I did see that he would be. It, it ties in a bit with what I was reading about Joe himself yesterday because the the gutter snipes, the the muddy tactics of the GOP are going to have a field day with this. And it just feels so pettily ghastly. Um, <laughs> Just switch off from it, uh, and if you feel that you can um, send either Joe or Hunter a message of support. In all honesty, I mean, for example, in Australia, um, uh, our Prime Minister's son, Anthony Albanese's son, <laughs> who was only in his early 20s, was given a VIP pass to the Qantas uh, lounge, not just the Qantas lounge, the Qantas VIP lounge, purely because he was the Prime Minister's son. Our uh, right wings just tried to make a scandal out of it and the rest of us just went, really? Get over it. We're not interested. If the CEO of Qantas decides that he wants to make the Prime Minister's, give the Prime Minister's son a free pass to some swanky lounge, who are we to judge? Um, and basically, we over here, the children are just, we're not interested. Um, whereas over in the US, there's these relentless attacks on Biden are just absolutely ghastly. If he was just an ordinary citizen, it would just be a non-event. But what's happened is uh, Hunter has now brought a lawsuit against Navarro's aide, Jarrett Ziegler, uh, in the Californian federal court uh, with uh, tampering, manipulating, altering, copying, damaging and accessing uh, in regards to the laptop computer. Now, what I really feel like is uh, Hunter is being 
uh, enveloped in support from Jill. Uh, I know uh, Joe is also giving support where he can, but he has other demands in his time. But Jill has really um, brought a protective blanket around him. Uh, I do understand that he is finding uh, release in art, and I, and from what I understand, it's pretty good art. So um, it's a bit. I'm getting the flashes. It's similar to uh, how Jim Perry is now finding a release in art as well. And I, and I really feel that Hunter is going to be okay. He's found another outlet that is letting him uh, get all uh, his emotion out there. But I do feel Joe uh, feels very. Um, uh how do I put it? The word popped in and then disappeared out again, so the boys are obviously let me not to use that particular way uh, of describing it um but he's feeling very uh, helpless in regards to this. but I want to have a look to see how the lawsuit is going to go, so I'm good using the gilded tarot royale, so hunter Biden, the hunter Biden lawsuit. What have we got here? An offer coming forward. Okay, thank you. I'm being told this is in, to, in regards to the gun charge. I'm getting that he is very possibly going to plead guilty and just do take take the um, take the penalty. Okay. Play guilty, take the penalty, and then it's a non-story is what I'm getting. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. How is the computer, the laptop in the in case, going to go against Jarrett Ziegler for Hunter Biden? No, they're telling me to tell me about the laptop case. Tell me about the against Zeigler, with Zeigler. Okay, come on down. This card popped out. An abuse of power. Need I say any more? He was the aide to Navarro, who's now been found guilty of whatever he got found guilty of. Um, but, yeah. With Zeigler, it was an abuse of power, going to be challenged by the courts. There are secrets yet to be revealed as the foundation here. Okay, thank you. I'm getting that they're not going to be revealed. There is, There are secrets behind. Okay, thank you. Thank you. There are. There is discussions going on behind the scenes. There is... There's, there's just stuff going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing, which is fair enough. The guy's a private citizen. In the past, a harsh truth coming forward with the Knight of Swords, which, you know, completely understandable, bringing forward the truth, bringing this court case. But, yeah, there is there is stuff that's going to come out in court that, that's not going to be public knowledge. Crowning this reading, so how's, how's the court case with Zeigler? The fool, uh, Zeigler literally was foolish, but I'm actually getting, and we've got three major arcana as a through line here. Uh, this is going to be a new start for Hunter as well. I, I'm really, thank you. Boy, the boys are active this morning. Um, they're telling me that he's, I'm getting that he's going to plead guilty on the firearm charges and he's bringing this to this case forward. Uh, and it, it's going to um, be a, uh, if I say a release for him, I'm talking about a new start here for him. Okay, yep, here is the Biden administration. It's the mature negotiator, the diplomat. Immediate future um, it, it is Joe Biden himself. The support of Joe, um, thank you. What I'm getting is that both of these instances are to emasculate the uh, accusations, to neuter the the accusations from the GOP. Okay, externally here we've got the 
Well, we've got the King and the Queen of Cups uh, externally for him. I'm feeling that this is Jill. Uh, she, again, is uh, the emotionally calm, but she's still got something that she's not going to reveal, and I don't think she's going to reveal it at all. So we've got both Joe and Jill here for Hunter internally, emotionally um, walking. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what have we got here? So eight of cups, we've got three cups spilled, five cups still upright. So it's very similar to the five of cups in um, in that three cups are spilled, but it's a completely different energy. So this, thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I get it. Okay, what they're telling me is this is um, Hunter taking control, acknowledging that these three cups are spilt but shining the, uh, shining the light on what needs to be... Sh it, it, I'm getting it's just basically him stepping up and taking uh, taking control of the situation, um, taking, taking responsibility, accountability. Thank you, that was the word I was after. Taking accountability of, of what's going on. Yeah, it's going to be fine for him. Full illumination or just the sun card. Oh, this is interesting. The outcome for him, he's going to, um, because he's going to take accountability, I just feel that he is going to be this inspirational figure that then comes forward, going forward. Hunter Biden's time has not finished. Uh, we've got the five of pentacles, the out and the cold. Um, it is my moral, my moral, ethical, and financial corruption card, but I'm feeling more that. Why is this financially out in the cold? I'll just get another clarifier on this. A collective awakening. I see this figure is the inside. Yeah, okay. It's literally going to take the steam out of out of the out, out from under the GOP and it's going to there's, there's it's going to be heard and here we have the magician bringing bringing the cards to the table and and manifesting the future going forward the opportunities of the future and we have the queen of swords court case information being brought forward, a burden, but also an end of a cycle. And then we have this bringing forward of the new of the new beginning. I'm really getting that he's, um, and then we have the other page, the page, actually one, two, three pages here, three pages, bringing forward information. We've got going to happen fairly quickly, going to be seen and heard, going to get his wish fulfillment to bring it all to a close. It's going to be quite emotional. There's going to be some truths that are quite painful, but it's going to bring about an ending, an ending. I just really think he's going to... He's going to step up and, and take control and accountability and it's just literally going to pull the rug out from the underneath the GOP is what I'm getting there on both of these instances. Okay, let's see how it plays. Take care. Love to you all.